politicians frequently get into the shit. They'll always attempt to dig themselves out, with varying degrees of success. Here are some of the classic methods of damage limitation they deploy. Marjorie, get me Steve. On the rare occasion that a politician finds him or herself in a sticky situation, what better way to restore the public's faith than a totally natural, intimate moment in front of some friendly photographers? A spouse more popular than the actual party leader can prove to be a politician's biggest asset when the faeces hits the fan. When former French President Sarkozy was investigated for receiving illegal campaign donations, supermodel wife Carla Bruni stood by his side. This goes to show the right partner can really help the public keep the faith. If you're a politician trying to make a point that something is safe, what's the strongest possible message you can send? Use your own child! No one in their right mind would take advantage of their children to make a political point, would they? Well, when the BSC crisis was really bad and people were worried about infected meat, MP John Gummer had his daughter photographed eating a burger. That's one for the family album. But family members are always trumped by an A-lister. In times of need, they're the ultimate upgrade. Brad. Well, I'm glad I can count on your support, Simon. <laughs> a celebrity endorsement at a turbulent time can go a long way to securing those all-important late votes. Arnie! OK, it's a bit extreme. It's pretty rare, sure, maybe even a last resort. Facing arrest for fraud, former British Cabinet Minister John Stonehouse faked his own death and fled to Australia. His mistress joined him there, and not long after that, so did the police. Well, it was your own funeral, John. That was your Damage Control Masterclass. It takes a special sort of politician to take a negative and flip it, and now you know exactly how they do it.